So very often when you're setting up a 3D scene in Blender, you may want to move objects around on a certain plane or a certain height in your scene. So I'm just going to take this wooden stool object and I'll hit G to grab and then I can click and hold with my mouse wheel to constrain it on the different axes. But sometimes it can be hard to get it on the right axis. Like if I want to bring this back in the scene, especially from the angle that I'm at, it can be hard to bring it over on the Y axis and I may want to stay in the camera view so I can see what the camera can see. So let's say I want to bring the stool here into the corner of the scene. So I have to hit G to grab, then hit X, bring it over, then G to grab again, hit Y, kind of move that over and bring it back. And then it's kind of going into the dishwasher here. So G to grab, move it again, back on the Y axis. And this workflow can just be a bit fiddly when moving objects around. Well, there's a super cool feature in Blender which will fix this problem by excluding one of the axes. So you can first hit G to grab, and then I want to move the stool along the height of the ground, but I don't want to move it up and down. So after I hit G to grab, I will press Shift Z. That excludes the Z axis, so I can move it on the X and the Y, but I can't move it up and down on the Z. So now because this model is on the height of the floor, I can very quickly move this around. I don't have to change my camera position, and I can just move this around and it won't be moved up and down. And this method will also work for rotating or scaling, so you probably wouldn't want to do it for a model like this, but just for an example, if I hit S to scale, I can then hit Shift Z, and then I can make it wider or I can make it thinner, but it's not going to change the height. And this is also super helpful if you're moving an object along a wall. So I'm just going to select the controller object of this clock object here, and the clock is already positioned next to the wall. So again, I can press G to grab, then I can press Shift X, and I can move the clock along the wall but it won't move away from the wall. And also I can select the picture frame, G to grab, Shift X, and I can move the picture frame around as well. So this is a much easier and faster workflow than hitting G to grab, then you can hit Z, move it up, then hit G to grab again, hit Y, maybe bring it over, and then G to grab again and bring it down on the Z. Now if you're always going to move a certain object along the same axis, there's another way to do this. So if I press the N key to open the side panel, I'm going to click here on item and I have the painting selected and we have location rotation and scale and then next to them we have these lock icons. So for this example here on the X location I'm going to click on the lock icon and now I can simply hit G to grab and I can move this around and it's going to lock on that axis. Now because we're looking at this at an odd angle it's kind of hard to move it on the Y but if I move right over here then hit G to grab it's not going to move away from the wall. And the same thing works for other objects like let's say I want to move the bowl along the counter. I don't want to move the bowl on the Z axis, so if I select the bowl, I can click on the lock icon next to the location Z. Then if I hit G to grab, I can only move the bowl along the counter. And these kitchen models are from my recently released product, my furniture and home asset pack for Blender. And in my furniture and home asset pack, you'll get 250 models, and they're all pre-set up for Blender's asset browser with custom rendered thumbnails. If you'd like to learn more about the product, then I'll have a link in the description to the product trailer video and also where you can purchase the product. And there's also a free version available where you can get 15 free 3D models. But I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.